So today, guys, we're going to look at sailing in Valheim. So to get you started, the first thing you'll need to do is obviously make a boat or raft. To do that, you need to be near a workbench, and you need to use your hammer, and you can make here either a raft or a carve. Carve? Carve? One of those two. <laughs> anyway, um, and obviously later on in the game, you can unlock better boats as well, but the mechanics for sailing are the same no matter what level of boat you have. So what you'll do then is, um, if we were to select one of these, we don't have the resources right now, but basically what you would do is have it hovering over the water and left-click to let it just drop down into the water like that. Now, as you can see over here, we've already got one of these. So once you've got your boat placed, there's a couple ways you can get into it. You can simply like run and jump in, or there is a bit of a ladder on the carve as well. Uh, if you're using a raft, you'll just have to jump on. So once you're in your boat, what you're going to want to do is come back and press E here to use the rudder. And there's a few things to look at. On the right hand side of the screen right now, you can see the wind direction. So that's going to be important. And also, uh, if it's white, it means it's blowing a lot stronger than if it's gray. So what we're going to do is using the uh, A and D keys, we can turn the wheel around. And then using W, we can go through different stages of how fast we want to be going. So if I press W once, you'll see it's now paddling. And on the right hand side, above the wind direction, you see the paddle is moving and to indicate that we are paddling um, you also get one little yellow arrow there above the wheel in game just showing you that you're sort of slowly going along and again you steer it using a and d now if you are like coming into uh, to dock and you want to slow down you can actually press s and that will slow you right down so right now there's nothing happening uh, there's no arrow on screen but we are still moving and the paddle icon has gone from the right hand side of the screen so we'll sort of drift around for a little bit you, the momentum of the boat will sort of take you now if i want to go in this direction right here in the sort of the way we're facing you can see the wind is pretty much against us right so at that point your only option is to really paddle if you've got the wind against you and you were to put the sail down what will happen is the sail automatically moves around like this to try and make the most of that wind but a lot of the time you're going to find it's really just against you uh, you see now the wind has turned to gray by the way so you can get gray wind and white wind now what you can do though is if we were trying to go in the opposite direction we can use the wind to our benefit because now it's white again and it is with us so if we come around like this we're now facing the right direction at this point if I put my sail down and you can see really the sail now is orientated how you sort of expect it to be because it's getting all of that wind from behind us again this is done automatically just for the sake of clarity I want to clear up about the wind here essentially if the wind is showing as a white icon that means it is blowing favorably for you it's blowing the direction you want it to be and you can use the sail to go at like full speed if it is a gray icon that means the wind is blowing against you and at that stage you do not want your sail down as it will slow your progress now, at this point, I've now got three red arrows, which means we are traveling at full speed using that wind. If I were to press S once right now, it goes to a half mast, and that drops down to the two yellow bars. It says, you know, you're going at a reasonable speed, but not as fast as you could be. Press S again, and you'll be back to just paddling, maybe if you're coming in to dock. Now, in terms of docking itself, what you want to do, like you don't actually need to make a dock. You can, of course, if you want to, but it's not necessary. If I want to get off onto this island, I simply need to get close to it. And around about here, you want to drop it down so that you're not actually uh, you know, going to be traveling into this too fast. Boats can be damaged if you sail them into the land too fast. You can repair them using a workbench, though, as you would like with anything else. So if I'm about here, I can then press E what's looking here to get off of the rudder and simply jump off. All right, and my boat's going to stay there. And then later on, you can jump back on and sail off again. So that is pretty simple to do. So one other thing I want to say about docking, let's say that we've just got to this new land here and we're going to come on in and uh, dock our boat somewhere around here and then we're going to get off and do some exploring and uh, you know see what we can find. Now what you want to do in my opinion is go to your map by pressing M, scroll in, get an icon here and double click in this area and just put boat or whatever you want to call it and that way when you're done exploring later you'll be able to come back and find it because honestly you go off and do loads of exploring in all different directions and then you're like oh dang where's my boat and particularly if you want to make a speedy getaway it can be really handy to know on the map exactly where that is so i do recommend that you consider doing that and uh, potentially as well you could have like a workbench around here and use it as more of a permanent docking sort of area now in terms of when you're actually sailing the oceans yourself there's a few things that you will need to be aware of. The first is there are sea serpents. So these are really difficult to fight. And one of the main reasons they can be really tough to fight is because they can break your boat when you're in the middle of an ocean. Now, if they do that, it is pretty much game over. So I'm going to talk a little bit about sea serpents here. But if you want a full guide, I am going to put a link in the description. There'll be a guide on how you can tackle those throughout the game. Uh, so in terms of sea serpents, what can you do? Well, early game, one of the best things to do is if you're close to land, make sure you just sail straight back to it so it's a good idea to check around on the map and always have an idea of where the closest land is i mean right now it's obvious because we can see it and if you see a sea serpent you can head for the land and get back in your best way of attacking them is probably going to be with a bow and arrow but honestly it's, it can be difficult if you're in the open ocean to fight them with a bow and arrow you might find that you're going to die and lose all your stuff so you do want to be careful what you can do if i get the map open here 
You'll see a lot of my exploring I've done, I've stayed close to land. Right now, for example, the Elder, I knew that was here um, because uh, when you unlock the Elder, if you want to see a video on that, I have one on my channel. Uh, but you get this icon, and that was sort of showing on this grey map, but I knew that there'd be maximum distance of there to there before we hit land. So you can sort of be like clever in the way that you sail around your world to try and make sure you're discovering land on the way so that if you do run into something, you can go ahead and get yourself safe. Uh, what I recommend, though, is do watch the video on how to deal with a sea serpent. I've done that separately because it is a bit of a different thing uh, but it does obviously relate to sailing and will hopefully help you out another useful tip when you're sailing if you're down here like this you're getting a, a quite a nice cinematic sort of view of sailing but you're not able to see too much around you and you're not going to get much warning of the sea serpent whereas if i use the middle mouse wheel here and i scroll right out you can stay very vigilant and right now if a sea serpent were on the horizon we'd be able to see it from much further away this is going to give you a huge benefit in terms of escaping it because obviously the the longer you have right the, the easier it's going to be so that's just a few little tips there guys on sailing i hope that makes sense essentially if you want to go faster you can press w and uh, press it twice we'll get a full sail and then you can use s to retract those sails which are done automatically paying attention to the wind if the wind is against you simply paddle as i'm doing right now that is essentially it i hope this video helped guys and if it did please do consider liking and subscribing for more valheim content for this one i just want to say thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time if you have any sailing or ocean tips that i haven't listed here in today's video why not let the people know down in the comments i'm sure everyone would appreciate that.